Hey there pranksters, welcome back to another Next Raker video and just like I've done in the past, in this video I will teach you 20 creative ways to sneak your favorite snacks and candy into class using school supplies without getting caught. We're all human and we can learn when we are hungry so these methods will definitely save the day for those of you who happen to be starving while at school. Before we get started with these hacks though, I want to announce the giveaway for this video and since the holiday season is pretty much here, it would be great to give away another PlayStation 4 to someone in the comments and to participate all you have to do is like this video and leave a comment below telling me which snack you have successfully snuck into class before. In order for this giveaway to start we must meet our like goal of 10,000 likes. Again all it takes to enter this giveaway is a like and a comment. Also guys if you want to have a one on one face to face meet and greet with me please click on the link below. Sign up and you can ask me any questions and interact with me live. Alright then with all that being said let's get this video going. Let's begin with a really cool method to sneak a whole pizza into class without anybody noticing a thing. For this example, here I have a frozen pizza I got at Walmart. The pizza is already in the oven while I prepare this box. We'll have to make two cuts on the pizza's box, right on the corners to create a flap so we are able to open it and close it. You might need to use some extra pieces of tape to hold the box together after the cuts. Over the box, we are going to place a canvas which I could easily pass off as an art project. This one of course is blank. Attach the top flap of the box onto the bottom of the canvas and I recommend that you guys use really strong tape for this. Now that my pizza is fully done and ready to go, I'll put it inside and close the canvas. See no one will suspect a thing and you can easily enjoy pizza while in class and you can even share with your friends, you'll sure be the most popular kid in class that day. Here I have some Oreos that I want to sneak into class and the ideal way to do that is to get yourself a pencil box like this one. This is a common cheap $1 pencil box from Walmart and yes it is see through on the sides. Inside we are gonna have to have two crayon boxes. Take some crayons from one box and place them in the gaps between the two boxes. This will block anyone's view of the inside. Now we can create space for our Oreos. We can put them inside just like this and you can see everything looks good and you can't tell that the inside of this box actually has hidden food in there. If you have a couple boxes of crayons available, empty them out as we are going to put some chips inside. And don't worry though because these crayons are non-toxic so you don't have to clean the inside of the boxes. Once you have filled up both crayon boxes with chips, for example here I'm choosing to sneak some hot cheetos into class, simply cut off the tips from the flaps while both boxes are back to back. Take a piece of tape and attach them together with it. Now if you lay the boxes in any position you can hide the chips and nothing will be suspicious. But of course once you get hungry you know where the chips are and how to get them. This pack of gum contains many pieces in there and they're all flat gum sticks so if you tend to chew gum in class and want to hide it, simply grab your phone but it must have a case. Remove the case and line up your gum inside. You'll easily fit between 4 to 6 pieces in there depending on the size of your phone. Simply just put the phone in and that's it. Most teachers don't allow phones or gum in class so you basically have two in one here. Speaking of things that are not allowed in class, most teachers don't allow their students to wear their hats in class and they usually have to take them off. So why not hide something underneath them? For example here I have a bag of chips and if I open the bag I can easily enjoy it while in class just as long as my hat is hiding it inside. Just as simple as it looks guys. Next up it's time to sneak some nerds into class in a very clever way. For that I will be using a glue stick. But it's not what you're thinking. We will not be using the compartment inside. We will leave that alone. We will instead use the bottom of the glue stick. Here I have a sandwich bag and I'm gonna pour some nerds inside. Not too much though, we only need a small pouch that will fit inside the bottom of the glue stick. Once you have it ready, tie it and it should be rather snug when you tuck it underneath. It may not look like a lot but it's plenty of sugar to keep your stomach from growling early in the morning. Right here guys I have a sheet of construction paper and on top I'm gonna put some leftover Halloween candy that I wanna sneak into class. So all I do is roll the sheet of construction paper and trap the candy inside. A rubber band will hold everything in place and a couple of crumbled pieces of paper will act as plugs to keep the candy inside. Keep this mini rolled up poster handy and reach in when your sweet tooth starts to act up. 
Something similar that you can do is with a notepad such as this one right here. Notice that some of the sheets are rolled back. Well, you can use that extra space to hide some candy. Just tuck it in there. You'll have easy access to your candy while you're doing classwork. Since you'll have many pieces of candy in there, you can share with your friends. If I took this box of Chips Ahoy cookies into class, my teacher would easily spot this if it was on top of my desk and I could easily get confiscated and I really don't want that. So what I'm gonna do here is completely open the box by undoing the flaps. With some tape, I can restore the box, but this time it will be inside out. That's pretty much it guys. Just label it anything you want to try to pass it off as a school supply box or something more appealing. You'll have easy access to your cookies during class. Pop-Tarts always make for a great snack during class, especially if you skip breakfast. So why not try to sneak some in? The best way to do that is by getting a small file folder and stashing some inside. What I like about these is that they have multiple compartments inside, so you can sneak a bunch of them in there. You can't even tell that there's anything suspicious in there right now, and neither will your teacher. I don't want you guys to think that you can only sneak solids into class. Actually, there's ways to sneak drinks into class as well. For example, while I was at the dollar store, I found this really cool zip-up case, and it looks like it was made to store some cans inside. On the outside, it already looks like a school supply and it actually looks like it belongs in class, so it makes sense to put a can of Pepsi in there. You can crack it open and have it available to you while you're in class. Another simple method to have Pop-Tarts at your disposal at school is to get yourself a large binder that has pockets inside. For example, this one right here. All we do is slide the Pop-Tarts in there and keep them handy. Whenever your stomach starts to growl, just grab some Pop-Tarts from your binder. Going back to using clear pencil boxes, it's almost impossible to sneak a bag of chips into class without them being visible. So if you have a bunch of sticky notes, try covering the inside, basically any part that's transparent. You can even use tape to keep the sticky notes in place. See, if I put my chips in there, from the sides, the chips will not be visible at all. Another way to fix the issue of a transparent pencil box is to use tape to cover it. Wrap as much non-clear tape around the pencil box as possible. For example here, I used masking tape. See, again you get the same result. You can enjoy your chips with ease. Just open up the pencil box and close it back up if your teacher is near. A good way to sneak some flat candy into class such as Laffy Taffy's or Jolly Ranchers is to simply get yourself a watercolor case and tape a couple pieces of candy under it. Usually most of these cases have enough room for it. Keep it handy on your desk and no one will suspect you have candy underneath. You can easily undo the tape and have access to your candy. When winter comes around, it's really cold outside, so it's very common for kids to put on their winter gloves, obviously to keep their hands warm. So if you're wearing gloves in class, it won't be a big issue. The best part is that you can actually tuck some candy inside your gloves and have them handy literally. When you get hungry during class, just reach in there. If you are one of those students who wears glasses to class, well then, you are expected to have a case for them, right? Well, use that to sneak some gum into class. The way I do it isn't hard at all. As most cases come with some padding to protect the glasses, simply pull it out and make room for your gum inside. Now you'll have gum available to you during class. Check it out guys, here I have two kinds of supply pouches. These are typically attached to a three ring binder. One of these is transparent and the other one isn't. See, if I put a bag of chips inside the transparent one, you can easily spot them. But if we were to do the same to the other pouch, there is no way that anyone could see the chips in there. So I highly recommend that if you get a supply pouch, you get one that is not see-through. You'll be able to enjoy your chips through the whole day at school. Here we have a crayon box and just like we did earlier in this video, we are gonna empty it out as we want to make some room for our chips that we can put inside. Again, these are crayons that are non-toxic so it's okay for food to be in there. Once we have our chips in there, we can close it and actually put this inside another crayon box case. The way I see it is that no one would go through the trouble of opening up two boxes just to find out if there's any food in there. There you guys have it, some really clever ways to sneak your favorite snacks and candy into class without getting caught. Remember that these are not meant to get you into trouble but rather help you not starve at school. 
Now guys, at the start of this video, I did announce that once this video hits 10,000 likes, I will give away a brand new PlayStation 4 to someone in the comments. And to participate, all you have to do is like and comment on this video. That's pretty much it guys. Again, if you want to enter this PlayStation 4 giveaway, a like and a comment is all it takes. Good luck pranksters, I will see you guys in my next video.